What's up everyone? Welcome back. I am the Mystifier. Today we have a really cool effect. If you want to learn how to do the bottom deal, but suck at it. If you want to seem that you could do impossible things, such as false showing skills that you do not have, such as bottom dealing, second dealing, I'm going to show you a really cool effect today that you can pull off that makes it appear as if you're an amazing card handler. Even if you've only been handling cards about a week. Two days maybe but everybody on my channel is a magician and knows magic and plays with cards all the time so this trick is gonna be really easy um, this is sort of a different trick that you know normally I teach you know maybe I'll do a sandwich trick something of that nature but this is something that I've played around with myself and I don't see that many people doing it but uh, maybe I just haven't looked hard enough so this is something that I've been playing around with hopefully you guys love it so you introduce the topic to your uh, spectators that you're into uh, doing bottom deals, second deals, and you try to actually do it. And you say, well, for example, let's say I was to take that seven and set it down, and it's something that you know you do as as natural as that. And um, you know maybe you're not the best at it, and um, I know I'm not the best at it. So um, we're going to try this out. That's what second dealing looks like. Basically, you would have a card on top of the deck, and you would take the card uh, second, and the card would be on top. This is what it would look like doing it face up. And, um, you know, I'm just getting lucky, to be honest with you guys, because I can never do this move at all. Um, I swear to God. So don't think I'm good. But uh, I really cannot do that move, because I don't practice it, though. So uh, anyway... Um, that's what second dealing looks like. This is what bottom dealing looks like. Let's let's say you wanted to control the uh, the king of diamonds, and then you would uh you would pop the uh ah see I'm not good at it at all, uh just like that, and then you would uh just do your bottom deal. But there's a certain way to do it, which is called the middle deal. And this is patter that you do to your spectators because there's no such thing as a middle deal. Maybe there is. I don't know. But um, this is what you do to your spectators. <clears throat> and the secret is uh, genius. So you have somebody take the cards and shuffle. And um, I don't know if this is a full deck, to be honest with you. But if it is, awesome. If not, I do apologize for that. So I'd have someone take the cards, give them a mix-up, and, and I would ask them... Um, can you do me one favor and make sure that we do have all four of a kind in here? Uh, so they do. They would check out everything. And um, let's say they wanted the four races. So I said, I'm going to do really, really quickly. And just try to deal as best as I can. And I'm going to try to deal not the one, not the two, not the three, but the four aces. Um, maybe I could pause, you know, and say, you wanted the four aces, right? You, I didn't make you pick those. You did really want the one, two, three, four aces, right? They say yes. They say no, blah, blah, blah. You deal as fast as you can trying to deal through the whole deck that was called middle dealing and you actually can deal the one two three four aces every single time you can deal one card you can deal four cards and this is what i think to be of a perfect gambling routine dealing any sort of a four of a kind that somebody wants <clears throat> uh, just because i don't want to edit it you know and stop the clip and cut it and you know have a little transition. I just, I'll just keep this all in one video. Um, I want to get as many people as I can to watch this video out of my subscribers. So if you like the video, guys, please share it. It helps me out a lot. Share it on Facebook, uh, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram. Whatever you guys want to share it on, you could just share my video. Please, that helps me out tremendously. Uh, please comment this video and please like. Let's get about uh, 40 likes on the video. It does help me out a lot. So like the video if you like this trick. And um, like this video if you like the secret method behind this. So the secret method is a marked deck. Half of me didn't even want to tell you this, but the other half had to. Um, this is a, uh, a marked deck. I was, I was inside watching a movie right now, and I was like, damn, that's an awesome trick. I should really, 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 you know, teach it. Oh, and I'm in my pajamas, and I love Christmas, and Thanksgiving is coming. But also like this video if you like my Frosty the Snowman um, pajamas. If not... You could dislike the video. I'm just kidding. Please don't dislike the video. It helps me out so much if you guys like the video. But anyway, um, back into the trick. So, um, let's see what I could use. Uh, these marked decks are marked here. They are marked here. And here. And here. And here. So, one, two, and three. If I turn the card over, it is the exact same position. One, eight, spade, 
two, and three. So this is the Penguin Magic uh, marked deck, beautiful deck. And the way that you can actually tell that the deck is different than your other decks is because um, over here, um, it says playing cards, but it, it sh if this was a rider back deck, it would say rider back. You know, let me just show you. This is a, a marked deck that was $30, and I'm actually mad at myself, but whatever. Um, it says rider back in blue, but these say maiden back, but they are in red. So you can have these with your decks, and they look the exact same as a bicycle deck, because they are. And the backs, everything is the exact same. So, there you go. That's that. <clears throat> so, good, good, good deck. Really do recommend it. And as you're dealing, the beauty of this is if you deal like this, or if you deal like this, you can always see the pip. So, it's much easier if they name a four of a kind, but if you wanted to get into it, like, honestly, you could deal one card. I've been practicing with this for quite some time now, so I'm going to show you what it looks like dealing with one card. So, this isn't a full deck because I have done this, uh, I've used this deck for Street Magic, so let's just say we wanted the Nine of Clubs. I'm going to show you how fast I can deal the Nine of Clubs. Um... Watch me mess up now, just because, just because, you know, that's how life is. So, what I start off looking for is just looking for the, um, the, um, number, and then if I would get, like, a club, you know, I would just look for it, and then, boom, it only takes half a second, and, um, out of this whole deck, boom, you get another clubs. So, let me tell you how I came up with this effect originally. I was at my friend Jerry's house, and we were doing magic, and I was, you know, blowing his mind, and I was like, you know, Jerry, let's try something. And um, I did this to him, and it floored him. And um, maybe there's magicians who's going to say, you know, maybe it's too bold, and you're basically saying to someone, you know, this is a mark deck. But not if you introduce it properly. Not if you introduce it as um, you doing crazy sleight of hand. You know, like, what better way to show people you have more control over a deck of cards than them shuffling the cards, them naming any sort of a four of a kind that you would like. You could do poker hands with this. You could do whatever you like, if you think about it, you know. You could do, like, the one, two, three, four. Like, you know, you could actually, like, split the deck up maybe and deal. And then, like, as you're dealing, you know, you could just, like, have them say stop. Let's say they said stop on this card. All you would do is, you know, like, you know, you could do it maybe like a double lift and show, look, that's the jack, that's a queen, that's a king, that's a ten, that's an ace. I know that they're all mixed, but you did pretty, you know, you did good enough. And you would just, you know, get rid of that card because obviously, it, you know, it was a double lift. And then I came over here and then I just tried to fix it. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Sorry about that. Come over here, show the card and then, you know, boom, drop it down. But um, I really think that that's a beautiful um little routine. Obviously, they're not the same suits. You could do that if you like. But that's good enough. So um, I was with my friend, and they said, uh, do me a favor. I was just having fun. I said, pick a card. He chose the King of Hearts, lost it in the middle of the deck, uh, just like that. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to find the card. Luckily, it was on top. I dealt through, and, I, and like it was, I was like this. I was like, uh, like making a really, really big deal about it. And the amazing thing is that I can actually go super, super fast with this now and go really, really fast. Um, but I have to uh, think of a name to call this. So maybe if you guys want to help me out, which would uh, help me out amazingly, is try to come up with a name. Because I keep all the magic tricks on my phone. And I don't want to write, like, the trick that you could count with a marked deck and you could find that that takes too long. Something that would make me remember, okay, yeah, you know, you, you look at the pips and everything and, you know, you need them to count. And, you know, something like that. But that would help me out a lot, guys. But uh, please comment uh, if you like this trick. If this is something that, you know, you would actually use. Please comment if this is something that you would actually, um, you know, use and, you know, fool people with. Because I have done. Um, I've used it on my aunt, my grandmother, Jerry, my father, my uncle, Vin, my mom. Um, not my brother yet. I'll, I'll probably show my brother as soon as I'm done filming this video. But um, if you've liked it, please comment. Please like, as I've said already for the past 300 times. And um, who knows? Maybe you'll actually um, do it better than me. 
Um, it's it's really amazing when you could do it with one card, you know, because it's just like so crazy. It just looks so amazing. It's like, you know what? Take anyone you like, you know, and you're so hands off. Mark Dex is so amazing. I used to be a hypocrite, not a hypocrite, but I used to say, oh, I want to buy the elites. I bought a brick of the elites. Love them because they feel okay, you know, but I was doing magic and I was like, crap, I'm effed. You know, because, like, I had to, like, do this move. Like, you know, blah, 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 talk, talk, talk. Peek at the card. And then uh, I'd be like, oh, do me a favor, say stop, please. And, like, I was like, oh, God, he didn't say stop. I kept dealing. I had him pick out a card. I couldn't read the marks. I had to be, like, so weird about the control. You know, like, I controlled the card like this. You know, so it wasn't a weird control. And then I just did, you know, like... You know, just to get out of it, I was like, okay, great, that's not your card, but watch you. We can put your card in the middle here, just give it a little bit of a twist, and then, boom, it changes to be your card. Nice. And uh, that's it, and then you're good to go. But anyway, guys, please tell me if you like this trick, if you would actually use it. It's not that difficult. All you're doing, if you didn't learn by now, is just really, really fast reading the cards. Yes, yeah, so I could just read them. That's an ace, nine, two, five, seven, ace, eight, four, king, seven, three, seven, jack, five, jack, six, four, nine, six, three, nine, king, ace, queen, eight, ten of clubs. So just practice it. And you have to know where to look. And I believe this is the only Mark deck that has uh, six markings on it. So it's really uh, amazing to uh, have a piece of magic history in my hands here as we're speaking. I think it's really unique. And I think magic has come uh, quite a long way. So please comment if you liked the video. Please comment if you would buy this deck. Please comment if you want to perform this trick. Please comment for anything. And please comment if you can name the trick. That would help me out a lot. I really need a name for this trick. Um, and uh, please like the video, guys. Helps me out a lot, as you already know. Thank you. I'm the Mystifier. You've just been mystified. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. You've just been mystified. Bye-bye.